The Milwaukee Dancing Grannies making their first public appearance since tragically losing members of their team during the Waukesha Christmas Parade. It's only been two weeks since that horrible chain of events, but as Jessica Maduker shows us, being together today in the city of Franklin's first ever Christmas parade is an important step for them. Linked together arm in arm, the dancing grannies held their sign in solidarity while walking in the Franklin Christmas parade. It was the starting of healing. They wore matching bedazzled sweatshirts to honor their beloved friends and fellow dancers who were killed two weeks ago in Waukesha's Christmas parade. Those grannies, Ginny Sorensen, Lee Owen, Tamara Durant, as well as volunteer Wilhelm Hospital, now angels looking down. I think they would be pretty proud of us to be doing this. Ginny and Lee were the glue that kept us together. So, yeah, we're trying to honor them and keep the grannies going for the future. Some of their other teammates are still recovering from injuries. Despite the trauma they went through, these ladies say it's actually healing to walk in another parade together. Mixed bag of emotions, but yeah, very much appreciated for everybody that came out. Jean's daughter and granddaughter flew in from Kentucky to show their support. They weren't sure if it was a good idea at first when Jean told them she was going to walk again in a parade after all that she had experienced during the last one. Very nervous because, uh, you know, what happened a couple of weeks ago. But the city of Franklin had increased security for its first Christmas parade. As you can see here, there's a large snowplow that is blocking this intersection. There's several throughout the parade route. The mayor tells me they are providing an added layer of protection. I think that strength just means that they just feel like walking in honor is exactly what those people would want them to do, is not stop and just continue um, doing what they love. Not letting their pain stop them from spreading joy and solidarity within their community. Merry Christmas. In Franklin, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News. Now, many of those dancing grannies said a final goodbye to one of their own before Franklin's parade. A funeral for 79 year old Ginny Sorensen, who led the team for years, was held today in Hales Corners. A funeral was also held in Waukesha for parade victim 52 year old Jane Cullick. Both of the women were loving friends, wives, mothers, and grandmothers.